Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something a little bit different. This is one of the famous uh, 140th twin packs that Tamiya did, uh, otherwise known as the white box editions, where they often take a kit, throw in some goodies, or in this case, they combine two. In this case, this is the 148 scale Bristol Bowfighter, the Mark VI, and the brand Universal Carrier Mark II. I picked this up a couple of years ago at Heritage Con from Dave at Hornet Hobbies. Uh, this one says copyright 2006, but the original packaging and molding is roughly from 2002. I know the Bowfighters, the 1997 release, and I'm planning to uh, use this particular aircraft in an upcoming uh, group build for model airplane ma maker, their Pacific group build. But anyway, I thought it would be an ideal time to open up this rather large box and uh, have a look what's inside. I have opened some of the decals already, but the remaining parts and sprues I haven't. So let's just quickly go through and then we'll get the box out of the way. So we've got the typical little bit of Tamiya advertising for their 148 series of kits. All sorts of goodies there on two sides. We have the decals. For the Bren Carrier. And as I said, I'll be doing a separate review on the Bren Carrier. Uh, tonight's mostly the review of the Bowfighter. There's the decals for it. Very nice looking. For the build I'm doing, I'm going to be getting, uh, thanks to a good friend of mine at the club, IPMS London, I'm going to be, Mike Hill, I'm going to be getting a set of uh, Aussie decals to match the group build. Uh, just some standard Safety features, the instructions for the Bren Carrier. Okay, first off, a very nice looking paint guide in 148. So you can uh, basically match it up, make a photocopy, etc. Reduce it or increase it, but showing you your decal and your color, your color scheme, shall we say. With, of course, to me, a call out. All right. The instructions. Let's get the instructions after we get rid of the other stuff. So that's sprue one for the Bren gun, sprue two for the Bren gun, and then we'll take everything else out and we'll start with the instructions. So let's just zoom in a little bit here. Uh, the 48th kits, World War II kits, are just gorgeous from Tamiya. Not almost shake and bake. Full uh, standard fold out instructions including uh, which version, the A or the B. So the attack bomber or the fighter version does come with a pilot and an observer or gunner. Uh, fuselage interior, nicely detailed. You wouldn't have to do a lot of aftermarket if you didn't want to. Putting the fuselage together. Moving on, the vertical fin, the wing assemblies. The wing assembly to the top center line wing, which should help with alignment. Then we have the landing gear here. Uh, you can put the rocket pods on for the attack bomber version. And then obviously putting the landing gear on and whatnot. Um, I think this is definitely a case where you're going to be doing step nine near the end of the build to facilitate painting, um, obviously. Landing gear doors. Very nice looking motor. Uh, you could probably get away with quite a bit without doing much super detailing there. These are the Bristol engines, of course. And then some of the bits and bobs. And then moving on to the other side, step 13 and 14. Uh, attaching the propellers, attaching the canopies and the uh, antennas, which you definitely, I think, want to keep until the end. Very tiny bits. And then here are the painting schemes if you end up painting it in either of these schemes, or three schemes actually. So we've got the first one there, uh, 272 Squadron in Malta. You've then got uh, 96 Squadron in Scotland, uh, and the 600 Squadron, the Night Fighter version, with again your typical Tamiya callouts. So, yeah, quite nice looking instructions, fairly straightforward. Okay, let's move on to the sprues, shall we? Let me get my knife. All right, everything's individually wrapped. So the 
first two sprues we're going to hit here are the engines. So there seems to be duplicates for both, obviously. Duplicate engine parts on either side. It's a nice logical arrangement here. And a couple of little poly caps so you can move your propellers if you want. So starting with, let's have a look at these. Again, you can appreciate the size of the propellers just by looking at that there. Uh, huge engines. Plus the landing gear bay, landing gear, etc. Very nicely molded for the time. Tires have some details on. I'm sure some people would like to replace those with aftermarket resin. The rockets too, the rocket uh, fins. Very nice. Ejector pin marks from what I can see here on logical spots. There's your first pilot. And obviously, you're, because these are duplicate screws, sprues, your gunner is going to be, strangely enough, exactly the same as the pilot. So yeah, very nice looking detail there. So that's the first set of sprues, namely the engines. Moving on, we are on to the wings next. So let's have a look at these. The bags do come, sometimes they come stapled. Let's take these out. This is a big kit. You don't realize how big the aircraft was until you see the wings. So there's the wings. Some slight coloring in the plastic, but again, that will be hidden by paint. Recessed panel lines, very fine. Tail planes, top and bottom, two sets, obviously. And then that's the underside, just to show you what's in there. A couple of locating pins there. They should be fairly accurate. I think they're to me, we hope so. The next screw is the lower wing assembly and the remaining wings. So there is the wings there, the underside for the four machine guns, or for the rockets, four machine guns actually. Uh, four cannon underneath. Sorry, there's the cannon. Again, very nicely detailed. Big plane. I'm going to have, uh, it'll be fun trying to find a spot for this. Again, as big as the Mosquito. I just haven't built one of the uh, twin engine 48s in a while. Okay, last but not least, we have what looks like the fuselage section. Just get the staples off of this. The joys of a live unboxing. A lot of good stories about the bullfighters. As I do this build, I'll have to uh, chronicle a few. Okay, first bit is a little sprue with the tail planes. Again, nicely detailed with the fabric. Not seeing anything unusual. Again, nice and clean. I Mia mean, always seems to do nice and clean molding. And then here we go with the cockpit and fuselage area. Very clean. The cockpit's quite fascinating because you've got a lot of the detail already molded in, including those throttles. You'll definitely have some fun there. You could do a little bit of super detailing there if you wanted, but you know, right there, there's the throttle. It's all one piece, but with a little bit of surgery, you could carve it out to make two. And then the gunner station or the observer station, the front and rear of the cockpit area. Very nice looking fuselage. As you can see, a good size. Uh, two different sorts of tail wheels. Cockpit seats. I'm just looking at the other side here. Interior molding. Um, there is an ejector pin mark in two rather obvious spots. That's unfortunate, but again, a little bit of careful sanding and filing uh, would deal with them. But I don't think you're going to see them anyway. They're pretty well hidden inside. I don't think that's going to be a big issue. Uh, but you can fix them if you choose to. So yeah, that is basically it in a nutshell. So as I said, this is the Bowfighter 
Mark 6 and 148 scale from Tamiya. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow along with my builds at blackfire.ca. And then, of course, we have the Scale Model Podcast. So definitely uh, check that out as well at scalemodelpodcast.com. Thank you and be well. Last but not least, I almost forgot. So a brief addendum to this. The canopy sections and the clear part sections. Again, nice and large. It'd be nice, almost a joy to mask this. There is the front cockpit and the various other uh, window positions. Uh, landing lights, etc. Formation lights. Very nicely tasked. Can't believe I almost forgot that. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, very nice indeed.